and is for the RWA Tag Team Championship. And, and, and this match has started already. Apparently, apparently members only count on the cold. And no introductions, no nothing. We're just gonna get right down to a fight. The, I don't, I don't foresee this being a wrestling match. This is a fight. These two men, these men hate each other. Where's the referee? There comes Harry Brownback from making his sweet ass time. Harry doesn't need to rush. He sees that this is a fight. These men aren't going for pins. He just man just wants. Sean Lita throws Alex Corbin's face first into the turn uh, to the steel post. He's a little late. I think he was practicing guitar on the back. And Harry Brownback Crumb still not in the ring yet. As Crimson Alchemy goes to work on JP Hansen. Ladies and gentlemen, this is one of the most heated rivalries. And now the bell is finally rung after these four individuals have been fighting for a good two to three minutes. This is one of the most heated rivalries in the RWA at the current time. Yo, know, members only looking to put another team on their hit list on the back of their shirts. Corvus on the outside trying to suplex Sean Leader on the ground. And Leader with the DDT. Counter. In the ring, JP Hansen was pummeling Crimson Alchemy on the corner. Delivering that knee to Crimson, rolling his eyes in the back of his head. Here comes Sean Leader to break that up. See some new ring attire from Sean Leader. It looks like it was at one point intended to be really serious ring attire, and then his son got a hold of it and put finger paint on them. Do you really think he has a son? I don't know. Just saying, like a child, a small child. But perhaps that's what makes uh, Sean Leader such a deranged individual. I think Crimson Alchemy has made Sean Leader a deranged individual. Before he fell under the spell of the cult, Sean Leader was your, was your normal, average, everyday kind of person. Well, he's going for a German suplex! The cover! Now, how is Brownback going to be impartial in this match? He was part of that vicious beatdown a few weeks ago, too, that involved the cult and the Suicide Kings. I mean, uh, Brownback has pretty much all things straight down the middle. When he first came out with, with members only as their official, official, uh, I didn't think he would call things straight down the middle. J.P. Hansen now letting these children in the front row get a piece of Crimson Alchemy, chopping away on him. Yeah, Mr. Duke's getting chopped in. Corvus goes for double knees and hits the turnbuckle. Leader with a, with a kind of spinning clothesline. Give me dinner first, shut him out. Mr. Duke's been throwing me aside uh, earlier, told me that members only with the greatest tag team in the world. They climb that ladder and they're going to beat uh, the cult down to a bloody pole. Sorry, goodbye. And that's how he ended it. Sorry, goodbye. That's all I hear from Mr. Duke. How you doing, son? And sorry, goodbye. Mr. Dukes, he's a character. That's a pretty spot on Mr. Dukes. It's a very good impression. And now Crimson Alchemia just with the knees on the back of Hanson choking him over the second rope. As Sean Lita reigns in forearms on Alex Corvus. Corvus starting to fight back now with some kicks and knees. Punches to the head. Not worried about tags. Not counting the men in the corner. Big body slam. Just letting these men go out, and I like a ref like that. Let these men take it to each other. Crimson Alcamilla with a leg drop to the throat of Hansen, right in the ring apron. He's smiling, he's real proud of himself. It looks like the piece of this match is starting to slow down just a little bit. I mean, these men have been going out listening to peace. Sean Lita looked like he had a handful of hair. Cult looks to be in firm control of this match right now. 
Sean Lita trying to stop a mud hole in Alex Corbis. Look at J.P. Hansen. And Ian walks from dry. And J.P. Hansen is probably motionless on the outside of the ring after getting a DDT to the mat on the outside. Make a wish time. And for those of you that may not know, Alex Corbis does have a child on the way. Therefore, he may not need his lower extremities anymore. At least the cult thinks so, anyway. I do not think I've seen one legal tag in this match yet. A little bit of teamwork there by the members of the cult. Guillotine leg drop. Rocking Sean Leader. Followed up by a chop. Stinging chops that are laid up in the chest. And there you hear a sorry goodbye from Mr. Dukes. But Alex Corbis is in trouble inside the ring. Maybe JP Hansen should should let go of Sean Leader. Looks like he's in firm control of him and, and help his partner out in ring. I agree with that. He doesn't hear you. Huge boot to the head. Falls to the outside. Now we got all four men on the outside of the ring. Hanson throws leader in. The freak show. And this is total chaos, but I think that's the way the call likes it. Pile driver. I think Sean Lita's neck is broken. Oh, there's Crimson. That would have been three. That would that would have been it. Not many people can get up from a pile driver. Crimson able to get in and break up the count. Sean Lita's still laying on the outside after that pile driver. And this is an issue, ladies and gentlemen, that has issued for the past several months between members only and the cult. And those people thought that it was it too. Now able to double team Crimson Alchemia. Double Harley Race, knee to the face. The Harley Race. I think Hanson thought that was it right there. He was throwing up the three like it was over. And apparently, maybe, maybe this match is under, uh, what is it, Texas Tornado? Where there, have, where there doesn't have to be any match. All four men are allowed in the ring at the same time. I mean, we didn't get confirmation of that, but who knows, sometimes we don't get confirmation on that. Well, Alex Corbis thought he just had Crimson in the ring, but Crimson Nakamia was able to get the foot on the rope. She'll need a body slammed on the outside. Hanson slam. moving chairs around to the outside. Moving furniture. Looks like it's moving day here at the RWA. Don't break our chairs, Hanson. Oh my god. Is he gonna go for a knee drop? A crazy look on the face of Hanson and he gets a knee drop on John Leader. Mr. Duke's like that. He's dancing around. Mr. Dukes is pitching a tent over that. Oh. Hit him again. Right. Duke says again. Hit him again. Oh. Oh. Crimson Alchemy goes for a suicide dive oh. and gets caught. He gets oh. caught. Oh. 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 Sean Lee able to make it over and make the save. Oh. Oh. I've never seen anybody catch an attempted suicide dive before. Well, we know the strength that J.P. Hansen possesses. And the skill. Why hasn't that been put on a t-shirt yet? I have voted for Sorry Goodbye as the book of the year. If you'd like to remind our fans watching at home to do the same thing, our Double Team Suplex 
to J.P. Hansen on the outside of the ring. I mean, there's some padding out there, but that padding's not very thick at all. No, it's not. And it's on top of pavement. We're live here at Tickers. Sean Lita able to get back in the ring. Him and Alice Corbis exchanging blows. Sean Lita getting the best of it. Jawbreaker. I don't know if Alex Corbis got all that kick to the head of Sean Leader. I mean, he's been through so much right now. You're wondering how much either of these four men can de deliver any move with enough behind it. Now, Alex Corbis, pretty decent looking Russian leg sweep just now to show him later. And Alex Corbis up on the top and drops the elbow run right to the heart. The black heart of Sean Leader, but that's Crimson Okami again. Crimson made the save at the very last second. Corvus bringing Sean Lita back to his feet. He needs to watch out for Crimson Alakemi. He's behind him, and I'm not sure if he knows. I don't think he does. Alex Corvus playing the low now. Oh. Hanks and getting back in the ring, gingerly holding that back. So you're going to wonder, I mean, how, how bad is that back right now? Is he going to be able to deliver a brain buster? Is he going to be able to get either of these men off their feet right now? We all know J.P. Hansen has freaking strength, but if you take out somebody's back, they're, they're not able to lift anything. Hansen was known to surprise us at times. Can deliver that devastating blow and really knock the person out. Larry can't come out of nowhere. Telling, I think he's telling Sean Lita, that's it. I'm doing signal to the end. I think Sean Lee is feeling a little froggy right now. Duck man going to the top. Good boy. Now Hanson. Hanson slowly getting up. Hanson slowly getting up. Sean Lee is perched on that top rope. Throws Crimson Alchemy into the turnbuckles and crocs Sean Leader. And there it is. Hanson delivers a lariat. And Mr. Dukes is going to sleeper hold on the outside of the seer. Oh, Mr. Dukes got the seer. He's pulling him out. He says sorry, goodbye. Oh. Members only. Have a one. And that's it. Members only gets the win. Oh my God. Big victory for the tag team champions, members only. Oh, and that, that seems to be a new tag team finisher unveiled by members only. Looked like a, a sky high flap, a, a flap jack into a, into a spine buster. That was an unbelievable move. And hopefully, at long last, this issue between the cult and members only can be put to rest. It seemed like the cult had everything well in hand. Crimson looked like he was going to set up with a finish. Oh, looks like they're not done yet. They want to put an this, exclamation this. point on the cult. Both men, both men look like they're setting up for a brain buster. Double brain busters. Oh. that hit list. The only that's, thing. That's right, another team on the back of that shirt. The only thing I can say for any tag 
team that tries to face members only is 